instruments yeah did you notice like when I was playing this instrument I wasn't even looking at it it was kind of like my fingers were doing one thing and my body was doing something else I'm dancing around this instrument is called a kalimba yeah this is from Africa uh, all these instruments I'm going to show you right now are predominantly from Africa except one and these are called uh, they have dozens of names. Uh, they're found all over the regions, all over Africa. Uh, the generic name would be a thumb piano because you, a lot of times you're using your thumb when you're playing it. And as you can see, now it has a beautiful sound. It's made out of wood usually, and it has metal keys. And a lot of times it has these little tiny pieces of metal. They're really bright. They were once uh, like oil cans that they cut up and put on there and it gives it that sizzly sound that you hear that there is that buzzy sound that's pretty prevalent in a lot of music especially African music and now this one is made out of wood like I said and it has one hole there and one hole there and this hole that you can cover up with your finger and you can let sound out of your finger now these instruments all are kind of different from each other except they show they have a lot of similarities and I'm going to show you a few different kinds uh, because these are kind of really cool instruments here's another one this one uh, has an open bottom it has a it has a bottom that is like open like you see that and and the keys are all kind of funky and actually my friend kind of he he, he kind of added the, key, the keys to it he even added this one which is a piece of a knife a handle. It has this kind of funny sound, but it has a really good sound because this instrument has a funny sound anyways. And I'll play this one for you. play this instrument you can pluck down or you can go up too which kind of gives it a double double sound to it and this is like I said this is kind of a funny sounding instrument uh, it was like he, he he fixed it all up he put a spring on there which is kind of funny it's just like it's kind of a clown instrument I, I think but it's actually really I love the sound now this one now this one is similar to that in that it has the metal keys and the sizzly little pieces of metal that vibrate but this one is made out of a look at that it's made out of a sardine can you know and uh, this this one is made out of a sardine can look at that it, it, it says Brunswick herring and so that gives it a different sound that kind of has a jumpy more of a jumpy sound and it's lightweight now a lot of times they use these instruments for uh, telling stories and they also use them for walking long distances because if you're walking a long distance and and you have an instrument like this playing I mean you can imagine like walking long time 
miles and miles playing this instrument. You're there already, and it's like so. And uh, uh, it's a good instrument to have. It's a good. It's like the harmonica you carry in your pocket. You carry one of these in your bag. You you have it made. Now here's another instrument. This one is from Zimbabwe, and uh, it is has. It doesn't have the the vibrating pieces of metal on here, but it has these seashells on it and a and a and a bottle cap. And there, it's made out of wood. Has the metal keys. Has a bridge on it. You can see the bridge, and that holds the keys snug and tight. And the ends are flattened out so it doesn't hurt your fingers. Because when you're playing, you're thumping with your fingers, and so you want to have those edges smooth. And so this one is is nice and smooth, and it has it kind of has a I, I call it the old man sound. It sounds like an old man walking or an old woman. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Now this is from Zimbabwe. And, oh, here's another one. This one is from Zaire, and this one is really interesting. This is a very old one. Uh, it has a, a person's face carved into it. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, the reason they might do this is because this might have been, this was, this is a very old instrument, and they would have carved their ancestor, their, maybe their grandfather or their grandmother, so that when they play their music, they can think about their grandmother or their grandfather. And so, this one has really beautiful, it's been played a lot and it's nice, the wood is nice and shiny. And this sounds like this. It's like my fingers are dancing and sometimes the keys get loose. You gotta kinda work with them a little bit. But anyways, this is a beautiful instrument. And there, look at that old man face or old woman face. He has a hat on. So that would probably be the ancestor, and someone probably really cherished this instrument. And it has a little hole in there, and a lot of these instruments have s pictures on them, shapes, and that, that kind of plays a role in the instrument and its spirit and its sound. Now here's one. This is from this is from uh, Cameroon, which is in West Africa. You can look at this. Now this one's totally different in that all these other ones are have a wooden body and metal keys. This one's completely made out of bamboo and raffata root. It's, you can see it, and this is called an endingi. It has a different name, endingi. And it has a totally different sound also. instrument that you can sing with too. And now on this one, it has like a little uh, two triangles meeting like what, uh, like uh, an hourglass. You can see that. Now, like I said, the holes in these instruments, they, they are there for a reason. Sometimes you think like, why do they have a hole there? What's that hole there? What's that there for? Well, this, this symbolizes the two places. The place of when you're alive and the place when you die. And there's like a little funnel when you, when you die you go boop and then you go into a bigger place and so the world is really big and it gets smaller and then it gets big again and so that symbol has been put into the instrument to constantly remind just like remind them about their ancestors uh, about their the path that we take life and death and and just the hole like boo diving into the hole and there's one more instrument here oh, I have two I have three more actually now this one this this is called Mbira, or you know, they would say in Zimbabwe, Mbira Zimuzamu. And it, it's a really interesting instrument in that it's very solid. And you notice I slip my finger into the hole. There's a hole there. That's what you do. You slip your finger in and you latch like that and you hold it like that. And that means you're completely attached to the instrument. It's part of you. And this is a very powerful instrument. Uh, it's kind of based on the choir. These are the 
the, the elders, these are the young people, and these are the children. And so when you play it, there's very specific keys that you play together. This is called a Roomba box, and it's from Jamaica, or, oh my, it's kind of a big thing. This is from Jamaica or Cuba, and usually when you play this instrument, you would sit on it like this, because it's a giant box. So I want to make sure that you see this. Well, actually, it's upside down. You sit like this, and you sit right on it, and you go. Yeah. No, this is called a Roomba box. And it's very big. It has a big sound. It's just plywood. And again, it has the metal keys, the bridge, wooden box, and the hole. Now, this particular hole is probably for the sound, of course, because it's such a big instrument. But there's the hole, and there's the box, and there's the metal. Now, I have one more instrument, actually. That was a big instrument of that. This is a dinky, teeny weeny. Look at that. This thing is so big, it's it's smaller than a cell phone, I know that. I didn't even like it. It's like the size of a cracker. And it has a funny sound for a cracker though. Yeah, and there there has the it has the metal, little metal sizzly things on it, and the bridge, and it's made out of wood, and it has a symbol on there. There's that symbol again. The two triangles together. Yep, there it is. So it, it plays out in all these instruments. There's some similarities, and there's some little differences. Now the last one I want to show you is one that was probably made in Indonesia. Uh, now, it's another country, but they took the instrument and they made it their own. They put it on a gourd body with a nice piece of wood on top and the keys are all really nicely made and it has a nice bridge and they use screws to tighten it down and it has, there's that hole, look at that, there's that hole and there's two holes on the side. See that? And those you can stick your fingers over and you can make a wavy sound. This is the, the ingenuity of these people that took this instrument and Beautiful, huh? Yeah, that is a totally different sound than these instruments in that it's it's uh, it's tuned to to each each it actually has a tuning to it. These other these other instruments do have a tuning, but they they have a, a funnier sound which I love. Anyways, that's all the instruments I'm going to show you in that family. Those are the kalimba family, and I hope you all enjoyed that. And my name is Sean Powers, and. Always, when you're playing music, you got to always remember, be playful. And again, my name is Sean Powers, and I hope everybody enjoyed this show. And we're going to have some more coming up. So let's uh, look forward to it, and thank you very much. And remember, be playful. Ta-da!